Military cargo planes are crucial to a nation's defense strategy, enabling the swift movement of troops and equipment to key locations around the globe. As global demand for these versatile aircraft rises, two prominent contenders have emerged. Brazil's Emperor KC-390 and Japan's Kawasaki C-2. In this video, we'll take a look at two different aircraft. The Brazilian-built Emperor KC-390 and the Japanese-built Kawasaki C-2. We will comprehend aircraft, specifications, and their best possible flying and serving capabilities for military needs. The Kawasaki C-2 is a high-speed, long-range military transport aircraft. Featuring a mid-size design with twin turbofan engines. Developed by Kawasaki Aerospace Company, the C-2 was created, alongside the PX Maritime Patrol aircraft. To optimize costs, Kawasaki utilized shared airframe parts and system components between the C-2 and the PX. The Emperor C-390 Millennium is a medium-size, twin-engine military transport jet developed by the Brazilian aerospace manufacturer Emperor. As the largest aircraft produced by the company, the C-390 Millennium project began in the mid-2000s. Initial design concepts were based on a derivative of the E-190 jetliner, aiming for a similar size to the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. Here is a detailed comparison of the C-2 Kawasaki and C-390 Millennium. The C-2 Kawasaki measures 43.9 meters, 144 feet in length, whereas the C-390 Millennium is shorter at 35.2 meters, 115 feet. The wingspan of the C-2 Kawasaki is 44.4 meters, 145 feet, while the C-390 Millennium has a wingspan of 35.05 meters, 115 feet. The C-2 Kawasaki is powered by two General Electric CF680C2K1F turbofan engines, each providing 265.7 kilonewton of thrust. In contrast, the C-390 Millennium utilizes two IAE V2500 E5 turbofan engines, each generating 139.4 kN of thrust. The C-2 Kawasaki has higher a maximum takeoff weight of 141,400 kg 311,734 pounds, while the C-390 Millennium has a maximum takeoff weight of 86,999 kilograms, 191,800 pounds. The maximum speed of the C-2 Kawasaki has 920 kilometers per hour, 570 miles per hour, whereas the C-390 Millennium is slightly faster, with a maximum speed of 988 kilometers per hour, 614 miles per hour. According to the most recent updates, the Kawasaki C-2 will cost approximately $240 million, and the KC-390 will cost approximately $161 million. The C-2 Kawasaki offers a range of 7,600 kilometers, 4,700 miles, with a 20-ton payload compared to the C-390 Millennium, which has a range of 5,020 kilometers, 3,120 miles, with a 14-ton payload. The C-2 Kawasaki can reach higher service ceiling of 13,100 meters, 43,000 feet, whereas the C-390 Millennium has a lower service ceiling of 11,000 meters, 36,000 feet. 
The Kawasaki C-2 has formally entered service with the Japan Air Self-Defense Force and efforts to sell it to countries such as New Zealand and Middle East. In April 2024, Japan's Kawasaki Heavy Industries will start promoting its C-2 heavy transport aircraft to Middle Eastern markets. The KC-390 made its maiden flight in 2015 and has since entered service with the Brazilian Air Force. It has also been ordered by the Portuguese Air Force and the Hungarian Air Force. The aircraft has been praised for its versatility and cost-effectiveness and is expected to compete with other medium-sized military transport aircraft, such as the Lockheed Martin C-130J and the Airbus A400M. To decrease the obstacles of flying at low altitudes or near rugged terrain, a tactical flight management system and a head-up display are installed. The C-2 has a full glass cockpit, fly-by-wire flight controls, high-precision navigation, and self-protection systems. KC-390 has a modern cockpit with advanced avionics and fly-by-wire controls, which enhance safety and reduce pilot workload. It also has a self-defense system including a radar warning receiver, a missile warning system, and chaff and flare dispensers. Kawasaki C-2 has cargo deck of the aircraft, is designed to hold up to 36 tons of equipment or 110 personnel. It is equipped with weight sensors, surveillance cameras, electronic bulletin boards, and an automated loading and unloading system to enhance operational efficiency. The KC-390 is equipped to refuel both fixed-wing and rotary-wing aircraft. Additionally, it has an on-ground refueling capability that allows it to refuel vehicles or support forward operating bases. Each aircraft is the pinnacle of its class and of technology. However, size does matter. The Kawasaki has a far greater range and cargo capacity than the KC-390 aircraft. Comparing the two aircraft, the KC-390 is less expensive than the C-2, making it more accessible to developing nations. Thanks for watching. Please share your thoughts about both aircraft in the comments section.